motherfucking Moly Now I ain't bound to no motherfucking Moly I won't allow it, ain't gon' cower to no Moly I'll be damned if I don't stand up to a Moly Fight like a man and throw my hands up to a On September 22nd, 2019, at approximately 0114 hours by Officer Martinez, 313126, was working patrol in District 1 in a marked unit. I responded to a domestic at 785 North Hanover Street in the city of Aurora, County of Arapaho, and State of Colorado. Upon arrival, I made contact with the RP, identifying as Ricardo Perez DOB slash 04031986, CODL. Ricardo advised that he and his ex fittings Kristen Marie, Butler DLB slash 0626-1987, CODL, broke up a few weeks ago, but still live in the same house as both on the lease. Ricardo advised that he came home after a night of drinking and overheard Kristen making some comments on the phone to an unknown person. The comments heard were that she was going to destroy all of his belongings and that it was on tonight. He advised he also heard Kristen ask the caller to bring a gun over to her as well. Ricardo never heard Kristen use his name in any of the comments or specifically make any threats toward his life. However, he believed based on these comments that she had intentions of hurting him and he felt scared for his life. At this time, contact was made with Kristen, who advised that her and Ricardo had broken up recently because he was cheating on her. She advised that she became upset tonight when Ricardo came home with another female and he let this female sleep in her room. She admitted to talking with a friend on the phone and was venting her frustration of being hurt by Ricardo. However, she denied making any comments of accessing a firearm and had no intentions of hurting Ricardo. There were other subjects in the home during the incident, but they all denied having heard any conversation between Kristen and the unknown caller. We stood by as Ricardo gathered some belongings and left the home voluntarily. Based on the vague comments and no witnesses, no charges could be filed at this time, and we left the house. At approximately 0254 hours, Ricardo made another call into dispatch advising the nephew redacted talking about grabbing some paint and damaging Ricardo's belongings. Ricardo advised that he was waiting in the area of Colfax and Havana for his roommate to meet him. We responded to the house first and attempted contact with Kristen at them, but she did not answer. Ricardo was asked to return to the house at this time. Upon his return, his roommate, Brian Travel DOB slash 02061969, was in the car with him. Brian was questioned about what he may have been witness to. He advised that he was in the living room area with Kristen and redacted nearby and heard them talking about grabbing some paint and destroying Ricardo's belongings. Bryant advised he left the house shortly after and was not witness to them causing any damage. At this time, we accompanied Ricardo into the house to check for any damage. As he tried to unlock the door, he observed the chain to be latched and the door could not be fully opened to make entry. Announcements were made to Kristen to allow Ricardo into the house. Kristen unlatched the door and... As she exited, she quickly shut the door. Officer Bailey, 316548, was in a position to see painted words on the walls, indicating to us that she had in fact went through with her plan. She stood in front of the door as to try to prevent Ricardo from going inside, but she was informed that Ricardo was allowed to go in his house, and she could not prevent this. As we entered into the house, there were words in big black lettering painted on several of the walls in the living room area, kitchen, and later found in the bedroom. The following were the words and traces observed on CT. Fake bitch. Cop collar. Liar. Thief. Pussy. Baby raper. Snitch. Bitch. You're not Christian dick sucker. 666. The paint can containing the black paint was located on the kitchen table seat photo. Photos of the damage to the house walls were obtained and placed into evidence. However, since Kristen is on the lease, this damage becomes a civil matter with him and her. As we continued to walk through the house, a pile of miscellaneous clothing and shoes were located in the middle of the living room on the floor. These, upon these findings, Kristen was placed into custody at T approximately 0316 hours. At this time, I observed her to the black paint on the palms of her hands see photos. Ricardo continued to check the house for other damage and found a now broken container 
that used to hold loose change on the couch, unknown amount. He also observed a Verizon phone box to be missing from his closet that he claims had $165. When he mentioned this was missing, Kristen, who was within earshot, made the spontaneous utterance that he doesn't work and did not have any money and steals everything he owns. Redacted, who was still on scene, remained in the kitchen area as we walked through the house. When I walked near him, I observed him to have black paint on his hands and his left shirt sleeve, as well as gray paint on both of his shoes. Photos of his hands and shoes were obtained and uploaded by a digital acquirer. This gave me probable cause that he assisted in causing the damage to the walls and to the clothing. It was determined that Kristen was the legal guardian for Redacted at this time. As Redacted is a juvenile, she was asked if we could question him about his involvement. However, she refused to give us permission to question him and advised he had nothing to do with the incident and no questions were asked of Redacted. Ricardo was notified of these findings and advised he wanted to press charges on Redacted as well for the damage. Redacted would later be issued a summons, J267761, for injury to property from municipal C0 to 94 to 73. The summons was explained to Kristen prior to her being transported to the jail, as she is his guardian. Another adult family member was contacted and agreed to pick up Redacted. Officer Bailey remained on scene, Redacted, until Jason Harris DOB slash 01041978 CODL arrived and took over responsibility of him. The copy of the summons for Redacted was provided to Jason. Probable cause was determined to charge Kristen with injury to property from Municipal Code 94 to 73 and theft from Municipal Code 94-74A. She was issued a summons, J267764, and held on a $2,000 bond. Victim services was offered to Ricardo, but declined. He refused to fill out any DV paperwork, and was provided with a pamphlet for the Gateway Battered Women's Shelter. He was also issued a subpoena. This incident was captured by a My Department issued body video camera. This report is a general synopsis and not a verbatim transcript. Uh, as long as I got you, my life is complete. Yeah, toll free, Dr. Melanie's H-Mac. Y'all know that I come through with Melanie's.